guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Trending brought to you by Airtel. My name is Nancy Isime and I am your host. On today's show, I have a young artist, someone who likes to do the Shakil Shaki, but that's not his song. All right, enough, Nancy. I would be introducing who my guest is right after this break. Stay with me, guys. Don't go anywhere. Be right back. Welcome back guys. Now, as I was saying before we went on a break, my guest on the show today is a young and fast rising artist who goes by the name Little Cash. Hey, hey. What's poppin'? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. We share skip rolls, skip rolls, skip rolls, skip rolls, skip rolls, skip rolls, Boy here. <laughs> oh yes, and now if you guys don't know, you know how he brought the Shaki to life, like uh, mm -hmm. ah Shaki, Shaki ah Shaki, Shaki ah Shaki. Hey, all I want, all I want is the Shaki. <laughs> hey, hey. You're, you're very beautiful, by the way. Thank you so oh, much. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It's, a, it's a new look, and I like how you look as well. Thank you. Very much. Yes. Now, in this segment called the Style of the Segment, all you right. get to talk about what you're wearing, and tell us exactly how you put it together. <laughs> okay, and what am I wearing? I will try, but trust me, I'm my own me. I'm not. I hardly have the time to dress. I'm not the type that I put a huge percentage of my time into what I wear. Well, okay. I'm the type of okay, just mm -hmm. then pick this and pick that. But I think the cap is to see. Okay. It's to see. This is the Ray Ban. Mm -hmm. um, Rain stores, normal stores. This is by Zine Kutor. He's is a landless fashion designer. Okay. Kind of does things for the old of people. Why? Even the old you know, basically. Oh, yeah, these are rich jeans, crazy jeans. This is a <laughs> man and Air Force. Uh, I, Nikes? I, so that's what I'm wearing, basically. Very I'm wearing nice. um, um, a G Shock. My ring is Mark Jacob, so very good. Oh, nice. So, what would you call your style, really? Of dressing, yes, dressing. like your style, your own fashion sense. What would you yeah, Whenever I enter my head, that's my dress. I like, I can, you don't be surprised when you see me dress like a banker, like pop out <laughs> shirts, trousers, talking suits, glasses, and I'm looking dapper. I that's can just do whatever, whatever I want to do. I can nice, nice. Okay, so let's you. dig into the you know the interview proper. Tell us about yeah. your background growing up. You came from a family of five, okay, my dad. My mom, me, my eldest sister, and my younger brother. Mm -hmm. And growing up, my dad is a pastor, actually. Don't say that. He, he is. is. He is a pastor. So why didn't you go the gospel route? Like, why did, why did you choose secular music? Our, stories, our, our destinies are different. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think yeah, that? It is know? almost pastor, not pastor. Like, almost and pastor, you can So if it was my calling, I probably would be a pastor right now. But no, this is what I want to do, and this is what I'm going to do. Do you think it's wrong, the fact that you're not doing gospel music? Would you say, okay, you're doing anything wrong, or you think, okay, this is it for me? No, this is it for me. Okay. Because um, the time that I have a very good relationship with my God, you know. Right. So, um, trust me, with the, amount, the amount of prayer I put into, mm -hmm. into you grab, I won't be mm -hmm. doing the wrong thing at this point. I'm mm -hmm. doing what He wants me to be doing. So, whether you guys think it's worldly or it's gospel, irrespective of the name you put to it, but yeah. I'm doing what I know I should be doing. Okay, so how how is your dad taking this? Your family in general? They trust me, smooth. We don't have no issues. Wow. Yeah, he's the kind of person that he just lets you do what you want like, to he's do. The type, he's the type that believes, irrespective of anything, you mm -hmm. still play the role you're supposed to play. So he saw me as a boy. Like, well, this is what you 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 do, and you're doing well. I mean, within it, it's not even up to two years. I've been in YBN and I've been going like yeah, exactly like, consistent. Boy, what you want to do. Great, great, great. Now let's talk about your single, Shaki. Yeah. Um, where you, which actually brought you to limelight. True that. Yeah, so tell us, what was the inspiration behind the song and how would you, you know, rate the song so far, single? Um, Shaki is one of my biggest songs so far. Okay. Yeah, it's one of my biggest songs so far. And the inspiration behind Shaki is just the streets, basically. Mm -hmm. The streets from the lyrics to the dance itself, the streets inspired it so close to the street and that. And okay. Shaki has played a very major role in my okay. career. I mean, and there's this song I used to have that I dropped, which mm -hmm. was the reason why I never sang it, which is Lyrically. Okay. And Lyrically is like my big new song because since I dropped the song that's when I started getting some calls that's when a lot of they called me then I had mm -hmm. a record deal and all 
Mm-hmm. So um, but when Shaki came through, Shaki took me like from Nigeria to South Africa to London. Around the world. Then, yeah, I started traveling, I started doing shows. So wow. I give credit to Shaki. What is your relationship with Olamide and the rest the of brothers, the YBNL crew? Her old brothers is a family team. <laughs> a family team I'm cool with Chinko, with Sino, with Adekoli, with Victor. With mm-hmm. Bado, with any money, they're all good. They're all Should good we be like expecting that. a collaboration soon? From all of you, like together, the whole wagon. Yeah, there was the Sharon here, the GS Sharon here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, Sharon here. Oh, yeah, be more? Olamide, me. Yeah, it depends. We can be in the studio together and then an instrumental with that. We decide, oh, yo, we're not doing anything. Let's record a song. Mm-hmm. If yeah, we record the song, if it's good enough, we put it out. Oh, great, yeah. great. So, what, what about your lifestyle has changed? Since you know we became low cash, cause their levels have changed. Though, yeah, like, like now fame came into the picture, mm-hmm. money came into the picture, mm-hmm. girls came into the picture. And yeah, I think that comes with fame. <laughs> 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 so um, it, it changed, and in the process, I've been mm-hmm. growing. Like I mean, I'm 21, but the way I think these days, I think I'm growing. I know how to mm-hmm. undo more. More, I know how to undo these situations that come my way. But do you think at 21 you're ready to handle everything that will come with fame? Pardon? Do you think at 21 you'll be able to handle everything that comes with so fame? So far I'm trying. And as long as I keep praying, I don't think I'll have any issues. Any issue. <clears throat> great, great. Now let's talk about your single, your new single, <laughs> Ejeka. Efe Jokura. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, my yoga is really bad, but tell yeah. us about it, it's really trending now. My god, <laughs> and the song is catching fire. Nice. It was like, before I dropped the song, I I recorded a couple of songs, and when I record this song, the song is bad, and Olamide and everybody in the studio, Victor, were like, oh my god, this is your next single, mm-hmm. this is your next single, and then I recorded another one and be like, this is your next, next single, <laughs> this is your next single, I recorded about four to five or six songs, and, they loved and then home. At some point, I was just in the studio. I already recorded with Young mm-hmm. John, mm-hmm. and then he just played this instrument. I was about leaving the studio, and I was like, "Really, my guy set up mic, set up mic." <laughs> and then we like we dropped it, but I'm a little kid. And then we Jimmy kept, "Oh my lady, caterpillar, you my friend, baby, let like, you grab." And yeah. then the and Badu had the song mm-hmm. later, and everybody was like, "Wow, this is next it." Single, bro. Next thing we brought it and we dropped it. I shared the video already. We okay. dropped it anytime soon. Oh great! And the song great. now, like the hashtag is. That's great. On Amazing. Insta, Instagram, Twitter. Amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, if you, you could headline a tour with, um, you know, a very popular female act, who would that be? Headline a tour locally or internationally? Um, well, locally. Let's start with locally. Um, female act in Nigeria. Yeah, it's a very popular one. If you mm-hmm. could headline a tour with somebody. I'll do Chirimado. Mm. I think so far she's still one of the most relevant. Oh, I can I can do Chilima. All of them I can do Chilima. I can do Cynthia Morgan. Okay, so those are two years. I love Chilima. I love Cynthia Morgan. Oh, great. Who I love? There's also one other female art I love in this industry. Can't really place. Place well, of like course. Cynthia Morgan is good. I love the show with Chilima. Is, is good. Amazing internationally. Um, I'm making another. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't have to no, think about no. that. You're reserving your mind as an no, just form like that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. Nikki Minaj Nikki, is she's it. just like the baddest though. She's she's cute, she's sexy, she's super she's talented. talented. Like super mm-hmm. talented. You grab when it's mm-hmm. Arabic, she goes in. When she wants to drop bars, yeah. she goes in. So <clears throat> Nikki. Amazing, amazing. Tell us about your female fans. How do you handle them? Because I'm sure that you every day they're probably sliding through your DMs and what up boy? How do you handle them? <laughs> I hardly reply DMs from people I do not know. Okay. You grab because if I if I keep replying, then mm-hmm. a lot of people will love messages will be coming in. But yeah, I do get a lot of DMs from girls. A lot of messages. Mm-hmm. I, I I try to be careful because you know mm-hmm. you have to be careful. You know, like my mommy used to tell me, "No lady, I'm brain, You understand? So yeah. I have to be careful. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm handling them fine. I mean, I do not I do not have. I'm not in a relationship, I'm just going to this. Well, you see, so keep sliding through around. that DM. You said? I'm just telling them that you're single so they can keep sliding through your DM. Yeah, so but you, you can never tell. I mean, the girl can. I can just come across one page on Instagram and I think this girl is really, really cute. Yeah. Who knows? 
I will let. Oh, so you're, you're cool with you know dating off Instagram or yeah, please, social media? You have to keep the DM coming. <laughs> what is what is your ideal woman? Hmm. Um, I think you should be cute. Okay. Yeah. Um. At the end of the day, for me, it is your sense of humor. Cause trust me, at times I used to feel like okay, well, like every every guy should have a speck of the kind of girls they want. They want. Without fair collection of dark. Mm -hmm. But I think if you're in love with your speck, I don't think you're really really in love. Mm. Cause love, I think is is not something that I don't Making. know if you dig what I'm saying. Like, so if you if, you if you love somebody, you won't love the person for how they look for your own personal reasons. Mm. You won't, you'll be less judgy. Wow. So if if you should, I mean, I can just fall in love with a girl. Okay. Even if she's not my spec, or do I have my spec? Or I'm not even <laughs> but sense of humor works. Sense, sense of humor, and she has yeah, to be cute. Know. Oh, yeah. great, great, amazing, amazing. All right, guys, you've heard him. If you're that ideal woman, keep sliding through that DM. We see you while we shocky. Eh. Mm, 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 yeah. mm. If you see, if it's my own shocky is bad, forget. No, she, this is, is this shocky or shocky this is, my big bad girl. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Shocky is one more. No, yeah, shocky is really, really bad. But yeah, you yeah sure. So, um, do we get to do it on the team? Do we, do we get to stand up on the shocky team? Well, no, we don't get to stand up. I'd love to compete with you though. If you're up for it. No, you, no, I, that, I give it to you. You win. You, you want. It's okay. It's all right. But <laughs> we'll show you the next segment of the show right now called mm -hmm. the video of the day. Enjoy. We'll be right back. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, I have little cash here with me, mm -hmm. and it's been so much fun all the way on the show. Are you having fun? Yeah, I am. I'm having fun. Are you? Um, yes, I'm having fun. Yeah, yeah, having fun. <laughs> yeah, let's get to our shaky Exactly, but I'm still trying to get the shaky tea bubble, oh, but oh, I'm oh. almost there. Trust me. I have my shaky though. Like, my shaky is on point. But you know I'm still be children. No. Mine is the baddest. Really? See my hands. I'm going to give a segment. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> <my brother>. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying yeah. to fall my hand, I mean, not yeah. on this show. <laughs> All right, guys, our next segment is called the Fast Five Questions segment, where our guest, Lil Kesh, gets to answer a couple of questions under 60 seconds. All right, let's do this. Okay, are you ready? All right. All right, let's go. Fat or skinny girls? Skinny. Boxers or briefs? Boxers. Last movie you saw? Mm, Rango. Gold or silver? Gold. Chicken or beef? Chicken. <laughs> Dubai or the States? Um, the States. Apple or Android? Apple. Are you in love? Yes. Mm, the last thing you bought online? Um, just weird, please, basically. Long distance relationship or short distance? Whichever way it comes, I can. You have to freestyle, people. yeah, long distance or. Mm. If I had my weight, short distance. Great. All oh, right. Um. Well, we're able to answer. Clear <laughs> uh, my. If I was in love, yeah, yeah, I am in love. I'm in love with my music. You know, my career. I I don't joke with it. I'm always on the road. I'm always working. So, I love your career. You have to try and love a woman too, Abby. Yeah, at the right time. At the right time. But mm -hmm. do you see yourself doing that anytime soon? Yes, I'm not. I'm not cold out there. I mean, I have. I've got a heart too, so I'm sure one one day I'll also find it. Have you ever had your heart broken? Mm, by a girl. Of course, by a girl. Who... It could be anything. Anything will break your heart. You no, can, I can reach like you, but you notice the pussy suit that you <laughs> It's also very heartbreaking. That know, breaks so. my heart too. Yeah, <laughs> can relate. I mean, but the girl broke my heart before. Yes. Yes. Now nah, at that time, all of them broke my heart. Now. Nah. Ah, but, but it's time for you to that. show them that you, you are the shocking it. master. Okay, yeah. It's time to break yeah. your heart. <laughs> you can. No, I'm not gonna break your heart, though. Man. I'll just tell you guys. If I wasn't in your, if you didn't think I was in the same class that you guys could relate with mm -hmm. you think i was that boy you guys can't date that time and now do you think i can date you okay i'm not ready to date you now so oh wow okay. <laughs> nice bad guy <laughs> like all right guys that was so much fun but the next segment is called the tribe segment where cash we get to give us full meanings of social media abbreviations and oh. slangs all right yes are you ready yeah let's do this okay lol laugh out loud q o t d 
O T D. I'll pass it. <laughs> Coach of the day. Culture of the day. Quote of the day. Quote of the day. Yes, like quotes, like. So she like do I have to quote some? No, 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 it's fine. I was just, I was just going ahead. No, no, I don't think that's an abbreviation. It is. It actually is an abbreviation. Q O T D. Oh, okay. Quote You're giving me the answer to that. Yes. I knew that. I was just about to say before you interrupted. So. Hey! <laughs> the next one. Uh, do you? <laughs> Now you have to, I'm like, I was about to just was say about that. To, <laughs> about to, about to. Or SMH. I'm shaking my head. What? Um, WTH. Ooh. Yeah. WTH. <laughs> WTH. Yes. Everybody says that. Every young hip person says, like, what? You said, what the age? Oh, what the L? Yeah, like, I, yeah, yeah. I've never missed one. I gave you exposed, so you've not missed <laughs> work yet. TYT. TYT, no idea. Take your time. Take your time. Uh, TTYL. We'll talk to you later. Oh, nice. DM. Direct message. Uh, slide yeah. into your DM. <laughs> yeah. Okay, FB. Yeah. Hmm? FB. And be Facebook. Mm hmm. R, R O T F L. I'm roll on the floor after. That was really nice. You did well. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you're so you. smart. Like, mm -hmm. that's what's up. But that Thank was you. really good. Okay, guys, we'll go on a short break now. And when we get back, it'll be time for the nasty comments. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting that. Right. We'll be right, right back. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be fine. Trust me. We'll be right back, guys. Welcome back, guys. It is still trending. I'm still Nancy Isima, and I still have Lil Cash here with me mm -hmm. on the hot seat. The seat just got hotter because we just got introduced to the next segment called the Nasty Comment Segment, where we'll be we'll get to read some comments that mm -hmm. has been left for you by your fans who love you but don't know how to express their love for you. Mm -hmm. So they're like, you know what? Let me get his attention mm -hmm. by you know. Yes. So we want you to. I don't feel too unbroken when I hear nasty things. Exactly. See, Thanks I for just. Me. Thanks for doing that. Anytime, bro. Anytime, anytime. I got you, you know. It's no us now. All right, so I'm going to give you this now. You're going to read out the comments loud and you're going to react to them. How many? How many? Just three. Uh, we couldn't get three. enough. Uh, um, okay, this one is by I am Dr. West. Okay. Um, you promise on trending that if we follow you, you will follow us back. <laughs> so you don't keep to your promises. What kind of person are you? Um, I'm <laughs> the kind of person that is at times too busy to do too many things you know it's not like when i have the time at times you know i'm like always on the road from radio to this to that so mm -hmm. i don't get to follow everybody every time but at mm -hmm. least i follow a couple of people yeah yeah so well, don't worry still get to anything i will follow, follow okay. you kfb yeah, so um this one is by at smalls chinedo why don't you go to your mates girls it's either at the city or as a chili ma, or yeah, I feel it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do I, have to, do I have to react to that? Yes, you have to. I just did come on, like come on, <laughs> really. Okay, you got no future. You got no future. So so bad, you're famous. You are the least famous in the industry. Did you even go to school? <laughs> Your lyrics are nowhere to be found. Your lyrics don't rhyme. Blisting idiots. <laughs> My goodness! Who broke your heart? No, like, like so much hatred. Come on. That is too much. I call it a big bros. <laughs> what that was name again? Um, free band on that underscore Pyrex. I right, know Wala now. You're popular now. I even said you're under, so it's all good. Peace out. <laughs> wow. Tell us what has been the most challenging, you know, aspect of being an artist at 21 so far. Hmm. Should I say the fame part of it? Yeah. At times it's like just too, it's too much to manage at times. Mm -hmm. It's fun, you know, it's cool for you to walk into a place and you're recognized. It's mm -hmm. good. It's a good thing to know that a couple of other young kids are looking up to you mm -hmm. and like, mm -hmm. but you're just, it's just a good thing to know you're recognized. But at mm -hmm. times, 
Like, like imagine a, a scene here when someone wants to take a picture and you're in a very bad mood at that particular time, mm-hmm. but they do not care. Yes. They're like, ah, oh, well, I see you care. I see you care. She needs to do that stay picture. Yeah. Even when you try to tell her that, no, I'm, I'm there. I don't really need a good mood. Can mm-hmm. we take the picture? Papa, I found and I just you found can't. that one picture turned to five. And I tell her, so people just come and be like, yeah, it's Liu Kia. She can't do anything in public. Let me try and get Let me try to the grab and the mm-hmm. girl, my nails and all that. Mm-hmm. But aside from that, they are good. Mm-hmm. They are also good sides to it. Great, great. So, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, I see myself bigger than this, definitely. The brand is bigger, okay. a whole lot of endorsements by then. Mm-hmm. Then, by God's grace, I should at least have a label of mine. Great. Then, I should be able to help other, other young people act mm-hmm. the, the, the same way Allah really picked me up and mm-hmm. he helped me. I should be able to do that. Like, mm-hmm. I see YBNL, like 26, so. not just me in five years, I see YBNL, because YBNL is the movement. Trust yeah. me. I see YBNL in a bigger place next year. We are international. Right. We are like bagging all the endorsements and we are. Go, so. Great, great. So, great. I'll come to your class anyway. We are <laughs> writing exams. Thank you so much for coming Thank on the show. It's been so much fun. Mm-hmm. You're such a blast to have on the show, and um, I'd love to have you over and over again. I'd love to have you over and over again. <laughs> well, we get to see you. Thank you. Can I kiss you? Of course. Oh, that is so sweet. Yeah. I'm never washing this hand. I will laminate it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright guys, let's watch the top five most trending phones as we speak. Check it out. Let's watch the top five most trending phones. At number five, LG64. At number 4, Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Coming in at number 3 is iPhone 6. At number 2, Samsung Galaxy S6. And at number 1, Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. Hey guys, well I'm so sorry that's all we can take on the show today. But don't forget to join us tomorrow, same time, same station, as I'll be waiting here with your favorite celebrity to entertain you. And guys, don't forget that you can join the conversation on Instagram at Trending on Hip TV, and you can also join on Twitter at Hip TV. You can also follow me at Nancy Isime Official on Instagram only. I'm not on Twitter, I'm not on Facebook yet, but I'll try to see how I can do that. But guys, my name reminds Nancy Isime. Until I see you next time, remember that I love you, God loves you more. Bye-bye. Thank you.